Hi, Full Bongo here. Let's clap some alien cheeks today, huh? Area 51 is a classified United States Air Force facility located just next to Groom Lake in Nevada. The site was acquired by the Air Force in 1955 for testing Lockheed Martin's U-2, and it's been used to test experimental aircraft and weapons systems since then. A couple of declassified stealth planes made by Lockheed Martin Skunk Works were developed and tested in the Area 51 facility. The A-12, which was put into production as the SR-71 Blackbird. And the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk stealth fighter was also developed here. There's a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding Area 51, ranging from reverse engineering of alien technology to development of time travel and teleportation technology. Back on topic of the raid, on June 27th, Maddie Roberts created an event on Facebook called Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us. The event had 2 million people sign up, but when the day finally came to raid, only about 150 people actually showed up to the main gates. And as far as I can tell, only two people got detained for crossing the gate into Area 51. The first girl seems that she was just told to leave. Oh my god, what the? Oh! oh my god. No! Oh no! Oh. Run, run! Oh. No! We got the first one! Uh, oh! This is Naruto, Robert! I didn't make it! Jeez! Come on, Naruto! Oh! Oh! What? She, she's running, she's running! Our alien in the car! She did it! She freed the aliens! But this other lady just walked right on through and kept on walking. Can you guys do anything about that or eventually? What what do you <laughs> Don't. I didn't think you might actually do it? Don't do it! The local police let her keep going, saying she'll be dealt with eventually. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Yep. I bet they let her keep going out of sight of the gate where she was probably detained by a bunch of camo dudes. Hopefully she's got a good lawyer because she's looking at about six months in jail for that. When it finally hit 3 a.m., the planned time for the raid, everyone just kind of looked around at each other, daring someone to make a run for it. <laughs> that was way too close. Oh. Go, what are you doing? Get off the gate. <laughs> but in the end, no one tried crossing the gate, and it actually ended up being a bit wholesome with local police joking and having fun with the raiders. Some of these kids were a little ballsy doing a Naruto run at the police. <laughs> The day before the raid, a clip of a news anchor doing a report on the event went viral when one of the raiders, Naruto, ran behind the reporter. Turns out it was Elixir who did the Naruto run. Elixir, E-L-I-X-I-R. Elia Elixir is the guy. It's hard for this guy not to stand out in a crowd, so I instantly recognized him from back when I used to watch Ice Poseidon. Ice Poseidon! <laughs> What's up? Hi, What's I'm at Ice Poseidon. Am I on the live stream? Yeah, what's your name? Hi, my name's Moose. Me. Yeah. As cringy as Elixir is, I do think he'll be a good YouTuber once he grows up and matures a little bit. The kid will do anything for content, which might explain why he hangs out with Ice Poseidon. Woo! You gotta get it. Woo! You gotta get it. Woo! You gotta get it. Woo! Oh, you got it. Overall, the event went down pretty peacefully. Good thing they didn't have to break out the mini guns. That's it for me today. If you're still watching, uh, comment, scrabble, bing bong. Thank you.